What is up, guys? Z here, and I am back again for real this time. I'm really sorry because first I was sick for an entire week, which was just bullshit, and then I had finals the week after, which is this week. This week is finals, but I'm still recording because I want to get something out. You know, I really didn't want to lose, like, just abandon the channel for two weeks. That is really unfortunate. Today, I'm going to ask you to leave a comment, yes or no, about this new series that I'm going to try out. It's called Tourney Roulette. Basically on Showdown, different rooms. You know, you got all these rooms. I hang out in the P room. Go check me out there. Nah, I don't really. Uh, th they hold tourneys sometimes. And I'm just going to go to the first tourney that pops up. Doesn't matter what tier it is, except if it's monotype or create a Pokemon. Because I don't know either of those, and I can't get a on T for either of those. Other than that, first thing that pops up, I don't care what it is. It could be Challenge Cup 1v1. I'll enter it. You know what? That is, uh, that is life. You know, that's what, that's what's gonna be, that's what's gonna be going on. So, if you do slash tours, you can see what tourneys are up. And the next new tourney that pops up, I will enter it, no matter what it is, record it, see what happens. That's why it's tourney roulette. So I'll see you guys when a new tourney happens. So I ended up missing two tours when I went to the bathroom, but we do have an NU tour which I will try out. I haven't played, I've never been a new player, ever. So I'm gonna go grab an RMT and th this is gonna be the thing. I'm just gonna pop on, R hop, not pop on, hop on RMTs and see what I get. Those look like new, a new team, so I don't necessarily want to grab them. This looks like it could be better. It has a pile of swine. I have experience with pile of swine. This is stall, so maybe I don't want to grab stall. Uh, th this is literally what I'm going to do. Go on RMTs, grab a team, play a thing. That's what I'm going to get. This is going to take too long. Let me just grab that stall thing as I skip down. And this might this might seem weird. Tell me, you know, maybe you want me to cut this out. If I c have to cut this part out, fine. I have an alert. That's pretty cool. Do you have an... Im <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. No importable. Can't grab that. Um, I, I still have a cough. Because I was sick for a week, so let me see if there's a good NURMT that I can grab fast enough to get back. Please, that would be really amazing. That seems like a good one. That seems like a quite good one. Is there an importable? Please tell me there's an importable somewhere. Oh, god fucking damn it. Alright, I'll be back when I copy this. Okay, so I ended up copying the first one, the stall one, because the last one had a Dragalgi, which is now banned. And I have a game against Monsiger. If you go to PU, you can see he is a mod in PU. He's a guy I know. I don't play NU, and he does. And we got the same RMT. Let, let me see, did, did, did Monsiger make this? No, it's not his. Oh my god, this is, this is disgusting. This is so bad. This, this is, this is worse than, like, bad. Okay, and what's worse, we both have Garboder shit, Garboder Palaswan Mischievous, which is a really good core in PU, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't have any idea. Neither of us have hazard removal, we do have a taunt mischievous. <sighs> this is this is this is worse than disgusting. This is like excuse me, bit of a screen jump. Um I don't know what he's going to lead with, possibly these things, so I'm going to go with Mysterious. As he leads with Steelix, what set is Steelix? <laughs> Roar, oh, it's Rest Talk. Roar, Rest Talk, Heavy Slam. I mean, I don't really have a reason not to just burn it right now. 
Whoa, they added Mega Sprites. That is so cool. And he crits me, and that does a lot, which is pretty fucking unfortunate. Um... I just taunt him right now. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he just rested right now or switched into a thing. So, I mean... Th this this is just going so stupidly for the very first game. Yeah, he just rested first turn, so that was, that was easy. Now, um... I really expect Kangaskhan to come in. Because he's not staying in, so I'm gonna Wisp again. Kangaskhan would be the thing, like, predicting Shadow Ball. Easy! Ah, not bad. Ah, alright, so... He doesn't have, like, Facade or anything. He is Sucker Punch, Double Edge, Earthquake. So... <laughs> uh, excuse me for one sec, because that's a phone. My apologies, I know that's unprofessional. I was actually expecting a phone call, though. Um, he, he says, he says he tried to cancel. I mean, he wouldn't really have done anything to me with Heavy Slam anyway, but Lantern would have been a much better switch. Um, I don't see why he can't just go to guard, as he actually pulls a good double in the pile of swine. That's more than a little unfortunate. I'm going to go into my own, so I guess I get a Brox too, at least. Cause I, ooh, nice crit. M please, crit me twice in the first five turns. No problem. <sighs> oh, fuck that. I mean, J Jesus Christ, that's not really okay. Like, two, two crits. First five turns, that's no fun. Do I expect Mischievous to come in and Icicle Crash? I don't think so. As he's just gonna end up getting rid of my own pilot's fun. Can I win the speed tie for once? Like, please, thank you. Alright, so his pilot swan's practically dead, too. Much less of an issue. Um, wait, why is this lantern water absorb? Shouldn't this thing be volt absorb? Uh, he says he fixed those. I'm going to lantern then, lantern then, assuming that he doesn't have water absorbed, because as far as I know, like, they run volt absorb, because lantern, lantern already resists water, it doesn't resist electric, and I'm just gonna scald. I don't, I didn't think he's going to lantern, because I already mentioned the water absorb, but that does give him a free switch into it now. Don't really have a good switch. Maybe Mischievous, but he's specs, so I doubt it. He actually Volt switches, which means I might be able to Pain Split and then get some health back on something, except Kangaskhan has the scrappy fake out double edge, which even when burned will kill me. <sighs> yeah, he didn't notice the water absorb apparently. Uh, but Kangaskhan, huge offensive threat. I know that much from wa from playing from watching NU because uh, the Canadian Wi-Fi is cool YouTuber. Um, I assume I can go into Steelix on this, and that does literal that does literally zero. That does straight up nothing. I'm gonna heavy slam because I expect him to sack this. I'm just gonna roar. Yeah, he does try to switch out. Can I have roared and not heavy slammed? Thank you. And then the mischievous. That's that's a bit unfortunate. Um, actually, he can't touch me if he, I if I just rest. So I'm resting. Cause now all he can do is shadow ball, and I can just click sleep talk. Oh fuck! He's I totally forgot that stops. All right, let me go to lantern. As he pulls a double or switch or something into garb. What is this garb set? Spikes, Toxic Spikes, Gunk Shot, Pain Split. Uh, the thing is, I benefit more from the spikes because with spikes on my side, Kangaskhan cleans up. Well, I don't know that I benefit more from them, but I would, I would like them. So I could either 
We could either both have up spikes, or I can go straight to Kangaskhan on Nord. Like, just Hydro Pump so he dies. I think I'm gonna Volt Switch, and then we're just gonna both have spikes, I think. As that is a solid 50%. That is pretty ridiculous. Um, so, we're both just gonna spike all over each other, which is fine, which is fine. He actually pulls the switch out to Mischievous. He does not want to be spiked all over. I'm going directly to Lantern. Yeah, I'm going to Lantern. As he pulls a double into Garb, so he gets up more spikes. That is... that was a good play. I think Ice Beam... well, he can't switch out. He's going to die to Hazards. But if I go for a Water move, he gets a free switch into Lantern. I guess I have to Volt Switch. And then go into... if I go into Mischievous, then his Kangaskhan is going to kill me. And Mischievous can still Pain Split, maybe. No, Mischievous really doesn't do that much. Plus it... Plus, it sort of forces in Kangaskhan, and then Hazards plus Burn is going to mean it's practically dead. And then maybe I can clean up with my own Kangaskhan. I don't know how much it does to a Mega Steelix, though. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is a... No, that's Physically Defensive Mega Steelix, Physically Defensive Garbodor, and Physically Defensive Piloswine. What the fuck? Why is this... Why, why is this team so bad? It's like... No, why max HP? I did not see how bad this team was. Holy shit, okay. Um, yeah, you can just kill that. And then... What do I revenge him with? Kangaskhan being in would be nice, because I'm fairly certain to take Mischievous out, but I've... Let me see. What, how fast is Mischievous versus Kangaskhan? Mischievous has 16 speed, which is 210. Kangaskhan is 216. I should be faster. But if I go into Kang... Yeah, he's going to go into Steelix now and just wear me down. That was not the right play. I definitely should not have gone to Kangaskhan. I had three physically defensive things. Because of Mischievous, I should take this out unless he did fix the speed. But no, he didn't. Uh, yeah, Mischievous is not faster. Let me, let me check. Yeah, he must have missed. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking at this arm T now, it looks so bad. So I might as well just earthquake him. That does 31%, and he roars, he doesn't rest, and he pulls me into Steelix, not into Lantern. I'm more than a little upset about that, but Steelix really doesn't do anything for me, so I'm just gonna sleep talk. See if I can pull something. I pull a heavy slam that does zero. I'm gonna go for a roar. As he's going to sleep talk a rest. Basically, my plan here is force him into lantern, like kill the lantern, and then I can go into my own lantern, like hydro pump, and kill the Steelix. So I'm gonna just heavy slam. I don't need this, as he does go for the ice beam, predicting me to switch out. Uh, I knew he wasn't gonna hydro pump, but I thought he might volt switch instead, but at that point at this point I can just rest. Go for a sleep talk, and I'm fairly certain I have this in the bag because once I can scald, once I can go for a spec scald on his Mega Steelix, it's not gonna be living. Hmm. Yeah, and I get off damage. So it, it, this looks over. I can just go into Kangaskhan, kill this, and then finish off the Steelix. Nice and. I mean, Fake Out will kill it. He actually pulls the switch into Steelix. I should have Earthquake. I should have Earthquake. Does Lantern live hazards? Yes, it does. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I can Earthquake, let Kangaskhan die, as he actually is going to pull a Sleep Talk. And then once Kangaskhan dies, I can go into Garbodor and spike more so that Lantern is dead. 
As he's gonna kill me with Heavy Slam. Now I just need to go into Garb. Lantern is at 20%, so one more spike will kill it. His only play is to switch out right here, but if he does, then I'll just kill the Lantern with my Garboder, because I should be faster. Unless, of course, I miss a gunshot, in which case I've lost, but nope, Lantern's dead. I'm just going to pull a Heavy Slam. I'm just going to split to make me... No, I'm just going to go for another spike, just in case I've miscalculated and he lives. I don't believe I have. As he's actually going to pull a rest, so I can pain split just to make him lose a bit more health, as that gets back so much health. Holy shit. I can't touch, I can't touch him, though. I might as well just pain split. So, he is not, he's going to die to Aftermath Rocky Helmet. Uh... Yeah, he had to pull a sleep talk, but... He's special? I, I don't know. He, he, he probably changed his spread or something. Um, so if he timed it, he could have roared and lived. Uh, so I might not have won. Either way, he misplayed. I won. I'm fine with that. I'm going to end up losing because this team is so bad. Let me just try to maybe fix some of these sets. Kangaskhan, let me put this in speed and just like be a fast Kangaskhan. And maybe that'll improve the team. Mischievous, I'm going to put a bit more into speed just in case. Lantern, you can get the Volt Absorb. Pile of Swine is... Probably running the bad spread. These sets are probably really bad. Let me change. <sighs> now nah, I'm just going to stick with Roar and challenge Luffy the second. I don't think this team is very good. But now i got to be stuck with that. Nothing going on in PU. PU is my homeroom. Uh, can you start the game? How long did our game take? Because... That felt really, really long. Yeah, all these other people are in, like, their third... No. No. Average average timing. So if if Luffy the Second is, in fact, alive, then I will see you guys when he, when he like, starts the game. All right, he finally picked up. I also PM'd Monsiger to see what changes he made, so maybe I can fix this team. Maybe not. This guy's a Blossom, which suggests that something is not right. Uh, so he did give me the new pace bin. Once, uh, so after this game, if I am successful, I will at least have a better team, because Monsiger is a very good player, good MU player, so I can at least fix this shit. Uh, I sort of expect Garacosta or Sandslash to lead, so I'm going to go with Lantern. As he actually leads with Scyther, which is basically... I'm going to Ice Beam, it hits this, and it hits Sandslash, and that just seems like my safest middle play, plus Blossom, as he's just going to go for a choice, no, not choice banded life or bug bite, and die. So, good on you, mate, I thought you would have saved that, otherwise I would have gone into Pile of Swine, not Pile of Swine, Garboda or Steelix, but you know what, maybe not. I really would would have liked Lantern though, because Specs Lantern actually put in some work. How, how much special attack? 76 is fair for a new maybe. Goes into Blossom. I've straight up no idea what a Blossom does. Like, what the fuck is a Blossom? I'm just gonna Ice Beam it, as that does 53% and I get a freeze. And he thaws. Fuck. I was a bit happy. And then he misses the Sleep Powder. Please, let's just throw in a bit more hacks. Um. I'm just gonna Ice Beam again then. He might save this, but it's still a free Ice Beam. Break that sturdy, get some damage off on this shit, even though these three mons resist ice. Um, ice is the only type ice resists, which is why it's such a shitty defensive typing. Nope, he just sacks this. Uh, had I known it was gonna Sleep Powder, I would've gone to Steelix, because that it probably took Blossom on. Again, I have no fucking idea what a Blossom does. 
As it goes in the Glalie. Earthquake or Freeze Dry is incoming, but I do have Pile of Swine, which is still the Glalie counter. What the fuck just happened? Yeah, sometimes the sprites glitch when they're making, and they get really big. But I've never seen it with Glalie, and holy fuck, that is terrifying. Oh my lord. Also, why are you running Protect? I mean, Protect is nice, because you get... But you only get 20 base speed faster, and it doesn't really have the move pool for it. Like, Glalie already has serious 4 move slot sy syndrome. I don't know why you're running Protect, because you want Ice Shard, Frustration, Earthquake, and then Return, Taunt, Super Fang, Spike, Double Edge, Freeze Dry. All these are good moves. When you're running Protect, you're just going to lose out on one of them, so... Not quite sure what's going on here. Not quite sure why this Glalie is continuing to be so large. Maybe if I go out, go back? Nope. And he's gonna protect... It. It. I could have gotten up rocks and broken that thing sturdy, but may maybe not, you know? That was a really useful protect because... I th seriously, what did that do? Like, why are you wasting my time like this? And unfortunately, I have Volt Absorb, not Water Absorb now. Volt Absorb is really useful for, like, Volt Switches and stuff, but it would have been nice against a Samurott. I do have a Spideff Missy, though. He's actually an SD Samurott. I did not know that was a thing. I thought they were special, but like I said, I don't play on you. Uh, I, I do use the Sword Sans Duo on my Mono E-Rank team, and it definitely has the attack for it. Besides, it has Sword Stance and not a special boosting move, so that definitely seems like it could be a thing. I'm just going to Shadow Ball. I'm not going to be needing Spideff Missy. Why he's only going for Aqua Jet, I have no idea. Unless he only has, like, two other coverage moves and no Waterfall or something. Yeah, he must not have, like, Waterfall. That's his best thing. Maybe he's, like, Mega Horn and fucking... I don't even know. I have no idea what this man's doing. At this point, I'm fairly certain this is a really bad team. I can burn that, unless he Aqua Jets me, which is fine. I don't need a 5% Mischievous. I can Volt Switch for free. I can't Volt Switch for free. I can Scald for free. Fucking Ground Types, though. As he does stay in, this man is real. I get the burn as he smashes, which didn't matter because I could just, like, go into Garboder, and then he died to recoil and shit, but it's pretty nice for me. I'm still going to go into Bar Gar... Garboder. That's the mod I'm trying to talk about. Okay. Uh, anyway, Burn, I still would have dealt with this. Like, there's no way it was sweeping my team. I have Garboder with Rocky Helm and Aftermath. I have Fake Out Kangaskhan. But it is it is unfortunate for him. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Um As he goes back into Glalie, I mean I don't really care. He is Earthquake. That's, that's fine. Missed the Gunk Shot. More, that's that's a bit more unfortunate. I would like damage, but I should be able to stop this with Mega Steelix and Pilot Swine. Both of them should beat this. Like, Glalie, Glalie can't really do much to Pilot Swine. Even, even though this is max attack, the most he can do is like 22% with Earthquake-ish. Look at, look at me using all these PU things in Enyo. The, the, maybe the tiers are a bit closer than I thought, but I, I don't think this man's team is representative of a good enemy team. I mean, most of it's PU, except for Sandslash and Samurai. Although you can use PU mons in 9U and it'll still be good. Mostly PU is borderline suspicious, I'd say. I'm just going to go into Mega Steelix and Heavy Slam him, because... Glale Mega Glalie is actually pretty heavy. I found that out when Mrs. Romelia was testing her like weird team against me and had Choice Banded Bassidon with Heavy Slam. As Earthquake does literally zero. Like, that's that's disgusting. How little that did. As he's gonna explode, that does a solid 60%. Fair enough, fair enough. But you've protect explosion earthquake. What, frustration? So you don't have Ice Yard? So you don't have Freeze Dry? I mean, that seems pretty retarded, in my opinion. Um, so unless he has Dual Dance Sand Slash, then I win. Easily. 
No, it, it doesn't dual dance anyway. I didn't I didn't think it did. Okay, so unless he has Sand Rush, Sand Slash, with Sword Stance, Sandstorm, Earthquake, the, something to hit Pile of Swine, then I got this. And Heavy Slam should do a fair amount, although he could just kill me right now. I still think Mega Steelix looks amazing. It's not a huge improvement for it. Like, it's not... It, it's cool, but it's not a huge amazing changed Mega. But Mega Steelix is rather cool. The design, at least. It looks amazing. Uh, can you be faster? I mean, I shouldn't if he's running a good Sand Slash, I don't think. Sand Slash. Sand Slash is 65 speed. Lantern is 67 speed, so he should outspeed me. And if I were him, since Lantern is a thing in NU, I'd speed creep. Just like, even if it's just that little bit for slow lanterns. Uh, this does have 16 speed or something like that, since I did throw a bit of speed into it in the middle of the game. Whatever, I, I still have Kangaskhan, which can just fake out Double Edge Reckless. Plus Pyloswine, which is a bulky ice type, so I'm not worried. Can you move a little faster, please? That would be that would be fucking nice. As I can just scald this. He he's focused. What the fuck is a focus sash sand slash? That no, that's that's not. That is not actually a thing. That that that's no. It, it's even if they're offensive, you don't run focus slash slash focus slash. Focus Slash is not a set. Just, what the actual fuck? That's not a thing. Uh, that's the PU room. So I'm waiting for a guy to challenge me. Let me copy you. This is the pace bin Monsiger gave me. That way I can have a better Mega Steelix. It's Spadef Mega Steelix now. 96 speed Garb. Um, 32 speed Pilot Swine. Mischievous has 16 speed. Kangaskhan is 96 speed. And Lantern still has Water Absorb, but has HP Grass over Scald. This is the new team I've received, so it, it seems legit. I don't think Water Absorb Lantern is a thing, though. Should I change that is my question. I mean, there are good NU players in this tournament. There's, I don't know, I play Tennis, LOL. There's... I'm in, like, the quarterfinals. That is stupid. That was too easy. Face? You can get banned for face? Okay. I'm still waiting for that guy to challenge me. Um, I don't think Water Absorb is the ideal ability, but I do have two ground types, so I think I'm going to leave that. I also trust his judgment, especially since I already pointed out that he had that. <laughs> he used the face. Um, I, I just really don't think it's worth skipping, because this guy should just challenge, whatever. I'll see you guys when, when the guy challenges me. Alright, we finally, finally got a game. This man has a spooky looking team, offensive spiking quillfish, some sort of like fast spike team. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, I don't know if he's going to lead with this or this, and depending on which one he leads with, my lead, my lead would be rather different. Because Pilot Swine could Earthquake Ice Shard that, but wouldn't really do that much to Mesprit. But I do want Rocks, because Potential Sash, Eruption, weak to it, weak to it. I mean, I'm leading with Pilot Swine. As he does end up leading with Mesprit, I don't know what these things run. It's probably like Stealth Rock, U-Turn, Knock Off, Psychic. I'm going for rocks, as he is running some sort of offensive knockoff mess per thing. That's unfortunate. Um, I can probably icicle crash this. They're normally choice if I... I mean, I think they're choice, but he could be lead with rocks. I don't know. From what I know of NU, Mesprit is literally seven gajillion different sets, and they could, they're could they all good. And we got a lot of people watching. So... So stuff is going down. He actually pulls a switch into Quillfish, which has an air balloon, which I break, and I don't want him spiking all over me, so I'm going straight for the earthquake as he flinches me. Oh god, god fucking damn it! Oh, that, that's just. 
Alright, well, I might as well go to Garb, because that'll do shit, and I can just spike all over him. Wear down, uh, especially Typhlosion. Typhlosion would be lovely to wear down. Specs Typhlosion looks like it's a huge threat for this team. Lantern doesn't switch him. Um, he's actually going to explode and get down zero hazards with his team. Good job, person. Good job. Um, I don't know if he's going to attack or just kill me. So I am going to go for a gunk shot, as he does have the Zen head, but he's probably choice. I feel like going to Steelix, Mega Evolving, and then I could Heavy Slam or I could Roar. And I feel like Heavy Slam will do a lot to anything, so I might as well just go for that. And I don't want to necessarily reveal Roar yet. He doesn't have a really good switch into Mega Steelix. Um, which doesn't seem like it's going to be a broken Mega that's going to be banned. Like, I can't see them banning something really defensive like this. So he's going to go into Miss Magius. Hopefully this does a lot. It's a ghost. It's not heavy. That just takes it out. That just takes it out. This thing has 8 attack. Mega Steelix, Ste Steelix Mega has 125 attack, but I mean... That just died. Okay, I thought they had decent defenses, but that was probably an offensive set. Um, I'm still really annoyed about that flinch on Palaswine because he would have been dead with that, but this is still working out as... Okay, he forfeits, I mean... I mean, seems legit. He hexed me, I didn't really do anything, so that guy's already in the finals. I am waiting for Blue Wing to challenge me. He was in my last game, so I might get counter-teamed. Who knows? I don't really know. This looks like a good team. Some sort of spike offensive team. Spook is all I can really say. Let me go into Pilot Swine. I mean, lead Pilot Swine seems pretty safe, because Archaeops is like Sash lead shit, doesn't it? So I can Icicle Crash, then Ice Shard, but I would like Rocks. Rocks would be very nice. I'm not losing to... Uh, I mean, I, I have no idea. I don't play NU, like I said. I'm just going for rocks. As he does just go for rocks. Now I can just crash, sh crash shard him. He can't do that much to me. He can do a shit ton to me. Holy fuck. And I miss. Beautiful. Beautiful. Or I just kill him with ice shard anyway. Which wouldn't have killed from full health. So that didn't really end up mattering. But still... Also, run Icicle Spirit, who, the guy who built the, um, Celevers, Celery, totally Celery, that was, that was very funny. Uh, I, I have the Water Absorbed Lantern. He, he's Dragon Dance. Can I live a hit? No, I can't live a hit. Oh, fuck. Um, what do I have for this? <sighs> he is Earthquake. Um... Yeah, this, this sort of wrecks me, so that's cool. I like how he's in my g game, though, so, I mean, counter team IMO. Missy can probably live hit, but I imagine he's got Lum or something. Let me go into Kangaskhan and fake out. Hopefully this, hopefully this does a lot, because it's Scrappy Silk Scarf, lots of attack, stab, shit, I don't even know, these guys are talking about NU shit, that did literally zero, can you live a hit? Yes you can, nice and not dead, fuck. I'm going to Garb expecting the Aqua Jet, he dragged, wow, this, this is a real man. Wow. Well, I just got fucking wrecked. Go into Mr. Vis, because maybe, maybe I can live a hit. He might not be running Aqua Jet. Also, like, so then I can go into Palace Wine. No, Missy just dies. Alright, let me go into Palace Wine, and, like, don't be running Aqua Jet, because you're Dragon Dance. You're already boosting speed. Tell me you don't have it. He doesn't have it. Beautiful. 
Well, I just got fucking destroyed. That was disgusting. Um, Nine Tails is inside. I, 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 it's Max Attack Ice Shard. Yep, so Ninetales is inside, all I can really do is just sack him, yeah. And go into Garb, and then maybe do damage with the gunk shot. If that would be possible. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just talking to these guys. Let me go to Steelix. That doesn't do that much. I can Mega Evolve and, like, Heavy Slam. And shit. I, but he, he's talking to these other people. I really don't think he just started today. Let me just rest on him and go for a sleep talk, because he's dead as long as they don't pull a rest. Uh, hopefully I can heavy slam though, not roar and give him death fodder. Nice and spadef drop. But I do pull the roar into Cacturn. I have no idea what Cacturn runs. Uh, I do lose to Ninetales anyway. It doesn't really matter, as he actually is drain punch, and that does like zero from a life orb Cacturn. That's disgusting. And I pull a roar. Into Glalie. Can I live this? Can this do zero? Or he's gonna go into Rotom and then get the free switch to Nine Tails. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I'm actually sorta of coming back. If I had Mischievous to take on Nine Tails, I'd just be that much better. Right here, I guess I sack Palaswine to seize Life Orb. If Garboder lives a hit, I'm good. If he lives a hit, I win. Unlikely, though. Very unlikely. Like, I, I can't see him living this hit, but if he does, then I'm okay. Well, I mean, Ninetales is bad special attack, so now I'm going to get my hopes up, and then I'm just going to be totally disappointed when I die and I lose. No, I live. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Thank you! Okay, do I win? I mean, if he has Explosion, that still could be an issue. Holy shit, I ate that up. That, that, that actually did, like, zero, though. Um, as the giant Glalie is back, maybe they're just all giant? Uh, I got a sleep talk. I still don't know that I can do this if he is Earthquake and Explosion. If he is both, then he's going to wear me down too much. Unless I pull an Iron Head right here, and he does like zero with his attacks. Nah, because I am Spadef now. Not physically defensive. Monsiger changed that, which makes sense, because if you look at Mega Steelix's stats, it's got like 230 defense, 95 spadef. You can probably run spadef on it. Um. God, this record, I didn't expect to get this far, so this is taking way longer than I anticipated. I really should be working on my finals right now. But I should still be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Seriously, though, like, are all Glalie heads giant? Um, fuck, he does have Explosion. I lose. Ah, he does. Yeah, I, I'm not really that surprised. So if he gets a min roll and I pull Heavy Slam, then we're good. Was that my first? Yeah, I have to sleep talk again. Can you get a min roll and I pull, he and I pull Heavy Slam? Nope. Alright. Yeah. He says, okay. 
good game, sure. I don't really think it was. I think he probably counter-teamed me. Because he totally counter-teamed me. He was in my game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Turning Roulette. Please leave a comment or like or something to let me know whether you like this or not. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.